Hey, since COVID-19, uh, live streaming has been king, right? We've uh, had to live stream in small churches uh, to, to reach our uh, congregation and uh, our members and our, uh, the body of Christ uh, as we're isolated in our homes. Um, so maybe you're looking to improve your live stream as we begin to start to gather again, or maybe uh, you avoided live streaming altogether and you pre-recorded your services and you now want to actually be able to live stream and continue doing that um, as a ministry. So we're going to dive into what a simple uh, small church live stream setup looks like. Um, we're going to get really basic and then kind of uh, build upon that and go from there. So, uh, But first things first, we're going to grab some coffee. Hey guys, I'm Adam, uh, owner and creator of the Light Media Group. And we're here to empower the local church uh, to, to reach their communities and grow their communities through technology. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, kind of do a little quick overview of a, a live streaming uh, system and setup and uh, what we can look at. And then we'll dive into each little section a little bit um, for a small church. So uh, first, we have to have a audio capturing um, so um, audio is actually <laughs> more important um, than video. A lot of people, um, like research shows basically that if audio is poor, then people will actually stop watching a video um, or a live stream. So you wanna make sure you capture good audio. So we got audio coming in, um, so we need some way to capture that. And we'll talk about different ways to do that. Um, and then we also obviously need to capture video. Um, so uh, doing those things, um, and these could be combined. So this could be like a smartphone. Um, I wrote a, a blog post about um, a very simple um, live streaming setup using a smartphone with a, a, an attached camera or a, an attached microphone, sorry, um, with a tripod. And so check that out uh, in the description below. Uh, I'll have the link to that blog post so you can uh, be sure to read that and check that out um, if you're looking for something really simple. So, um, but anyways, uh, so you capture audio. Um, this could be a microphone attached to your camera or it could be um, like what a lot of churches have is the, um, um, you know, our PA system. We have decent microphones, you know, our pastor, um, our, our, our praise team, uh, music team, uh, band and everything has has microphones. So, you know, we most of us have this covered. So we just got to figure out how to get this and this together. So uh, we're going to talk about that. Um, and then video, um, we have different ones we can talk about. So um, usually our audio is going to um, go to uh, most of us have you know, a mixer of some sort, right? So um, this could be a soundboard, it could be, you know, you just have an interface and you use like a software or whatever. But, um, um, and then our video um, typically is going to go um, into a device of some sort, like um, a video capture device or, you know, um, most likely um, a computer of some sort, right? Um, laptop or whatever. And we'll talk about different different options that you have there as well. We're just going over um, a basic overview, what we're going on so we can kind of um, get settled on these. So, um, so now you have your audio and you're capturing it. You have your video and you're capturing it. Um, either with a capture card or, you know, if it's a USB uh, webcam or something like that. So um, really, the, this is the, the big part. How do we get those two together, right? And so um, because we, we want to um, actually stream these out. Um, so how do we get these together to, to do that? And so usually what we do is we'll, we'll take our... Um, interface here our mixer you know if it's you know an x32 or digital mixer it's really easy um, but we'll plug this into this laptop the streaming computer that we're using whatever software whether that's obs or um, livecast or whatever you're using uh, on this computer and then you will take this and <clears throat> this will put it together uh, you'll get your your mix coming out here you could even do an aux um, or whatever um, so you're going to combine video and audio together um, and then you want to stream out to your um, your either your website um, if you're streaming to YouTube or um, um, Facebook as well. So um, this is really the the basic setup here, guys. It's it's not really that complicated. Um, where we see most people having some issues are, are you know how how we get 
our audio to sound good? How do we get our video to look good? Um, how do we capture them together and then stream them out? What kind of software do you recommend and stuff like that? And we're not going to really dive too deep into that. We're just kind of giving you an overview and then we're going to give you some ideas on different hardware to use for these. So. Um, so let's go ahead and start talking about each one of these areas. Really, I wanted to kind of share in this video some some ideas, my recommendations for entry entry hardware, entry uh, devices that could be used. Um, and so we're going to first talk about audio, then we're going to talk about cameras in three sections, um, and then we're going to talk about with the, along with cameras, capturing devices, way to get them into your computer. Um, and then briefly, I'm going to mention um, you could do all this hardware instead of using a computer. You could actually use uh, streaming hardware, like pre prepackaged devices, encoders, and stuff uh, that would stream directly to your social media or to your website or whatever you want. So, um, audio, obviously, you know, we talked about this a little bit. Uh, you could use an external uh, microphone, make sure, um, you know, it's a decent microphone. Uh, I've recommended some of those in that blog post that I'll link below. Um, but then also you could currently leverage your current mixer. So you could use an auxiliary or, or bus mix or whatever, and send that out to an audio interface, um, that you could use. Um, and I can, uh, I'll, I'll make a recommendation for that as well in the de uh, description below that you can check out. Um, and then you could dedicate something for your, your live stream mix. So whether that's another mixer or you could um, use a software-based DAW um, or digital audio uh, workstation um, as your, your, your place where you could create a separate mix that's totally different for that. Um, so something to just kind of kind of think through is, you know, what is your purpose of live streaming? Is it, is it, you know, possibly to reach a certain type of people that expect a high degree of excellence, or is it, or is it just for your people that um, are unable to make it or don't feel comfortable to make it uh, to your services currently, and they just want to be present and they want to see what's going on. They want uh, to just really be able to hear the sermon, hear the music, and sing along with it. But it doesn't have to be at a professional level. Um, so just consider that um, when you're capturing audio. Now, like I said before, audio um, is is really a big reason that people will turn it off. Um, so if make sure you capture good audio, um, I would recommend at least a mixer, you know, sending an auxiliary out or some kind of separate mix for that. Just keep in mind your gain structure. If you use the same device, it's going to have to be consistent throughout. So your audio interface, you'll have to be able to control your gain level coming into your computer or whatever you're mixing into, uh, that'll be streaming, uh, your, your video and your live stream. Um, now dedicated system. Yeah, that's, that's obviously the best way to go. Um, but you have to either purchase software, you know, you could use Ableton, you could use uh, logic or, you know, whatever other, uh, doll that you like, um, that you prefer. Um, and that's the way you would mix it up and then send it out, um, to your, to your live stream. So now let's talk about cameras. I'm going to talk about three different categories of cameras. Um, the first one, um, I'll probably get some feedback on and for recommending even an entry level one of these, uh, but would be web cameras. And so um, my church, we, we, we tried out web cameras. We really had an issue with the delay of audio um, with a video. And so we had to play with that. Um, luckily, OBS allows you to set different latencies and, you know, you can put an audio delay or whatever on it. So you'll have to play with that a lot. And, and that can be kind of frustrating uh, to get that set perfectly. And it's different for every web camera. So if you use different types of web cameras, you're going to be setting different delays and all that kind of stuff. Also, the limitation of USB range, uh, like as far as cord length and stuff like that. Um, we're having so all kinds of issues about different adapters. And anyway, it was a big mess. So um but you can get good good quality pictures, especially if you're like doing church at home or you know stuff like that, and you want to actually live stream. Or if um, you know you have a small building or, or or sanctuary and you just need to capture just some kind of video, web camera would be great. Entry, um, you know, minimum that I would recommend would be uh, the Logitech C920. I actually use it in my home office. It's a great little web camera. Uh, gets the job done. It's not. Um, it usually will run you about 70 bucks, um, upwards to 100 and 115. But you, if you look around, you can get them for, for 75 bucks or so. Um, so web cameras, don't completely rule them out. If, if budget restraints are there, it, it's, it's, a, it's a decent option. So a uh, camcorder, um, I recommend the Canon. Uh, it's the R800. Um, it's a really decent camera. It's um, uh, able to do uh, uh, 1080. 
um, so you get uh, high definition, um, which all these nowadays are going to get high definition, and and really, you know, depends on what kind of streaming quality you're going to be going to. Uh, but it'll do a two and a, uh, 1080p and then do an HDMI out, so it'd be great um, to capture into a computer device or something like that. So um, the other option um, is we're going to talk about the SLRs or mirrorless cameras. And it's also a Canon, uh, but it's the uh, EOS. Um, it's the uh, M50. Um, it's a really decent camera. It's recommended by a lot of people that, that either YouTube video or whatever else. So um, check that one out. Um, and then in the description below, I'll have some other upgrades that you could go to if you wanted to get you know a little bit more advanced, a little better quality device. Um, you can kind of go up from there, even in each category. So better web cameras, better camcorders, and better uh, SLRs or mirrorless cameras. So. Um, but now that we talked about capturing device, you know, obviously with a webcam, you just USB in. But let's talk about, um, you know, these other cameras. So camporters and your, your cameras. Um, you, you'll want to capture the, the video, obviously. So um, if you're leveraging a computer, um, I recommend the Elgato CamLink um, 4K. Uh, we're actually using it. It's great. Um, it only does 30 FPS, which is not a problem. Uh, that, that that's Unless you're going to do slow motion, that's really not a problem at all. So um, Elgato, any of their, their devices, I highly recommend them. They've been really good. They, they typically say like gaming devices, gaming capturing devices, but they essentially work the same. So um, I'll have, have the link for that down below. So we talked to audio. We talked to video. So we got those in together. Um, now let's talk about like, so how are we going to, what are we going to connect those to? How are we going to control this and actually stream it out? And so um, first off, you know, I, I recommend a commuter, computer, um, but there are other options. So don't, don't, don't say that's the, the, the do all or whatever, but, but for a small church, that's most likely what you're going to have is, uh, as, as a computer. So either desktop or laptop. And I recommend if, if you don't have one, um, a MacBook Pro would work great. They're great for any media applications. Um, you know, they, they have a lot of integrated or built-in stuff that work really well, you know, dealing with drivers and stuff like that. They're really great. So MacBook Pro, I have a link to that um, if you wanted to pick up one of those. And then if you're going to go like Windows side, you know, I really like the Lenovo ThinkPads being in the IT world. Um, Lenovo laptops have been really great, uh, easy to support. Um, their support is great as well. And so uh, that would be the T480 is, is the one I'd recommend. And, it, and it's going to be enough hardware. Obviously, you can increase different pieces of it or whatever when you when you go to build it out and to buy it. Um, but baseline, it, it has the hardware and meets the requirements for, for a lot of the streaming needs. So um, so I, I would fail you to mention that, that there are, you know, hardware devices and coders that you could use instead of a computer and, and stream with those. And there's even cameras that have some of them built in. And But, you know, this is specific to small churches. So um, I'm just going to mention them. Uh, feel free to check them out. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. But the Webcaster X2 or the Pearl Mini if you wanted to go in even more. So, um so that's really our hardware overview. So we have audio, we have video, we have a way to mix those, capture them, uh, send them in a computer, and then we stream out. And then there's different pieces of software that you could use. I'm not going to go into that uh, on this video today, but but um, just keep that in mind. Uh, those those are the like the things that you need to purchase um, outside of a streaming service. Like if you want to like use your restream or something to broadcast to multiple places or if you want to use a, a different um, encoding or um, interface uh, for your for your live stream. So um, one of the bonus tips I wanted to share with you today is just just as you are designing this out, as you're looking to upgrade it, um, don't forget your people. Like uh, So be sure to train everyone, um, whatever you use. And, and remember, like keep in mind that whatever you choose, it needs to be easy to use, right? So like nobody wants technology that's going to be breaking all the time or on the flip side, so complicated that only Joe Smo over, um, he's the only one who knows how to work it. So invest in training, invest in people, and uh, you'll get great results. Um, and they'll also be involved and be able to help you out as they do research and stuff like that. So so just, just keep that in mind. Um, the other extra bonus uh, tip is uh, lighting. And so um, having good lighting produces good video. Um, you know, we talked about audio being very important. Uh, if you want to take another step, um, maybe upgrading your lighting and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into depth in that, but uh, lighting goes a long way um, in, in video quality.
So let's recap. Um, so we talked about um, configuring your audio, getting in that uh, uh, whatever you, you know mixer. You're gonna set that up. We talked about video, different different devices and different types. Um, the streaming hardware, and we talked about a little bit of software there. And then the bonus tip, obviously, is, is, is people, invest in your people. Um, so in the next few videos, I'm going to go down into deep dives on each of these sections. But I really want to know from you guys, what, what are you struggling with the most? So what is the area in your live stream that you're like, oh, man, this I really don't know what to do here. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe that'll be our next video um, so we can help you out. And so um, also be sure to subscribe. Um, and uh, share this video if it's been helpful to you to kind of get you started, uh, get the conversation going on uh, live streaming. Uh, I hope you got something out of this. Um, so uh, let's together make a spark uh, that hopefully go and grow into a flame um, so that we can reach our communities and uh, spread the good news, uh, the gospel of Christ. Have a blessed one.